Hey everyone. <coughs> hey everyone. Um, I just woke up. It's ten o'clock in the morning. It's been a while since I woke up at ten o'clock in the morning, and I'm happy. So, um, probably that's why my voice sounds like this deep <laughs> because I literally just woke up. But, um, <sighs> so I had a dream, and from my dream, I remember this, so. I wanted to talk about it. So I had a dream that I caught COVID. The virus. I mm, I don't know why I had a dream. I think because I was out all day last today. I was protecting myself. Like I was staying away from like other people and I was wearing my mask whatever. Um not well and that last two days the day before last two days. So I was protecting myself like Staying away from other people wearing a mask, whatever. But, um, I had a dream that I got survivors. And, um, most of the dreams don't come true. But most of the dreams do come true, so... Anyway, so, anyway, I, oh, probably that, I don't want to say dogs no more. Um, I don't want them for few reasons, but I watch, I, <clears throat> since I haven't watched them in a while, I decided to watch a video from them. So I watched a video from them a few days ago and it was one take Sunday and everything like that. One take means that you don't edit. So anyway, um, they was all in the family room whatever together, and um, Brock, um, Sekar's son, Brock. I I mean I know he was just being silly and everything like that, but. Brock said that people die from coronavirus, but kids don't like something like that. And say Carl just left it off. And I'm like saying to myself, that's nothing really laugh about people really dying from this virus. And like, I know people will say, oh, kids will be kids, kids. Will say things and kind of they don't know what they're saying 
whatever. Like, I mean, I know that, but, um, my, Little cousin, younger than Brock, and my little cousin knows not to say that, or his father with discipline, and I'm not saying that say car don't discipline his kids. But, um, now, he said, one, um, he said one time that he don't discipline his kids on camera. I 100% get that. Because you really don't want your kids to get picked on by, like, other people for like getting yelled at on camera whatever so I get that but if say Carl or the mother go that discipline the kids off camera then they won't act like that on camera, and, like, um, <clears throat> like, um, literally after Brock said that, and he, um, uh, yeah, after Brock said that, say Carl just kind of laughed, and everything like that. And, and he say something about, oh, we're going to have a mouthful in the comments. Speaking about, um, people will talk about that. In the comments and I'm just like saying that no but I'm just like saying that um if he disciplines his kids off camera they will act what right on camera and everything like that. And I know Brock is nine years old. But he either eight or nine years old. <clears throat> but he I'm not going to say he should know, like, not to say that because most eight, nine year olds say really anything, whatever. But it's up to the parents or the guardian to correct that and everything like that. And the father say didn't say nothing. No, he just left it off and said, oh, we're going to have like a mouthful of people um, in the comments. So, anyway, these are things why I don't like the sick dogs. Mom, is because I found out that the family is racist. Like, like, do you think 
it's weird that they don't hang around black people. Or not just black people, but they don't hang with, they don't hang around any other color people except white people. And that's your choice. Whichever group makes you comfortable, that's your choice. But basically, I'm like saying, yeah, like, yeah, he, I think they have either a family member or friend that's black, but they don't hang out with them like that. And, uh, yeah, I'm like saying. And number two, the, his daughter, Avia, say, am I dirty like an African? She said that when she was, what, nine years old, eight, nine years old. <coughs> yeah, she said, am I, am I dirty like an African? She said that, and then <coughs> the father... Defended her, obviously, obviously. She was going to defend your daughter. But, because that's your kid. But, he didn't handle that situation good. He basically said, if y'all going to get mad at a like, kid that say that like you're the problem and I'm like saying in my head so basically he's defending his daughter for being racist for saying something racist make no sense and um and no, yeah and number three he put in fake on all of our head like people was looking up to him like I wasn't I saw the figury and not as him by his wife and his whole family. So, but anyway, some people actually was looking up to him as an father figure. So he is. You hear my dog. But um, anyway, people was looking up to him really as an father figure, and for years and. In 2017, like through 2018, whatever, we found out that he was an alcoholic. And Obviously, he kept his alcoholic rage, drinking rage off camera and everything like that. But, yeah, and everything like that. But he put it all <clears throat> on all 
of our heads because a lot of us literally thought that he was a role model. And if you basically, if you think that someone is a role model for years and then you find out the truth, you get mad. Like, and everything like that. And then number four, why I don't like them is... Sorry about that. But number four, the reason why I don't like them is because... They fake, like... I... This me. I like to see YouTubers, <clears throat> they fake and they brag and they and they flex. Like for me, I like to see YouTube families that's like be real. Don't be fake. Don't show fake stuff just to get views on your videos. Do this stuff because you actually do this stuff. Or do that stuff because you actually do that stuff. Don't do in something random. Just for a video, just to get views anyway, and they just brag like um, I forgot when, like it was like before they left um you do whatever. Before they left YouTube for like a little while, whatever. Um, say call the father got his kids ready for school. And for the first day of school and um his he drove his kids to school on the first day of school in 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 the death law. Now you can do anything you want whatever but what people don't like is braggers, flexors and that literally what he was doing. He was bragging that oh he has in Tesla because you everyone knows Teslas are a lot of money and not just a lot of money but cool like Teslas starting at seventy eight thousand dollars and um so anyway when you see Basically, people with a death row, they got money, whatever. But anyway, he drove his kids for the first day of school in a death row. And I don't care about that. Like, you drove your kids from, in whatever vehicle. I really don't care. But how he was saying it. He wanted to make the other people jealous. Yeah, he wanted to make the other people jealous. He wanted to make him and his family look like the cool ones at school. And everything like that. And. I 
I, I mean, I, I don't like them, um, because of that. And then, <clears throat> same as, like, in 2009, well, last year at Christmas, 2019 Christmas. Wait, what is it? Yeah, 2019 Christmas. Um, they surprised the kids. First of all, <clears throat> I don't agree with all the presents that they give them. Now, on Christmas, now, I know you always say, probably say, money or presents or whatever. But, um, I does have to talk about that. So, it's so much presence that they give them and mo literally most of the, the presents they give them is not their aunts, uncles, grandparents, cousins, presents, the, because the aunts, uncles, grandparents, presents is separate from the parent, from the um, presents that the mom and dad give them. So anyway, each for each year, they give them more than ten presents each, and for. <clears throat> A four or five year old, that's really too much for a four or five year old. And I mean, that's too much. Not like money wise, but then you treat your kids poor and they will ask poor. In the long run, they will act like they deserve everything they want. So anyway, um, for the last present, they went to Hawaii. They, um, the father surprised his whole family in coming to Hawaii. So anyway, they was in a while you are ever. Um, then say call filmed like whatever filmed a day whatever. So anyway, um, say. And the family pulled up to another rental house. And then Daxon said, is that it? Like, is that it? And then say, Really didn't step in and say something like, like people say, Oh, that's good for say to say something, whatever. He didn't say nothing. He was kind of joking and <clears throat> everything like that. And I'm like saying that's what that what you get when you spoil your kids, like for. Christmas, like, literally, who gets 10 presents each? 
from a balance, from balance, and then get like another ten from the grand balance. Cousins, whatever, and then kids to go on a trip of a lifetime. Now, I know he has money, a lot of money and everything like that, but don't spoil your kids like that. Because, let's say, they got 20 kids from everyone, from parents, grandparents, cousins, whatever. They got 20 gifts and all. And then they got still got to go do a, um, a trip on a trip of a lifetime. And then I'm just, and then Jackson basically say, is that all? That's how poor kids act. And then I know you will say, oh, he was, he's young. He's the youngest and everything like that. You can, but like, you can't always say, oh, they could say, whatever, or they could say whatever, because the age they are, and yes, and everything like that, so, I just don't like them because of that. I don't care that he cheated on his wife. I mean, that thing, why, like, meaning when I say I don't care, meaning that I don't like them not before, nah, I don't like them not because he cheated on his rock two times, no. But I'm just, like, saying that, um, like I say earlier in this video, if he did discipline his, if his, if, uh, if he do discipline his kids off camera, then his kids won't act like that on camera. I'm just being honest. If you discipline your kids off camera, then your kids won't necessarily act like that on camera and I really don't like them because they brag and flex. I I does say look like they was up here and that the down here. Will it all went wrong whatever. And then they don't get that much views on the videos like they used to do, like, they used to get, like, f mm, five million <coughs> views on a video, and for the Christmas special, they always get, like, 30 million views on the video easily. They don't. Like, on this past Christmas, special Christmas 2019, they got, um, the last time I checked, they got, like, more than 500,000 views. That's whole different than, like, 30 million views. But, anyway, that's why I don't like the say dogs no more and I don't watch them. It's other things but um yeah anyway like comment subscribe.